all the evidence was properly recorded and available. It was only one aspect of the trial that was not available to complete the record. That being the case, we are of the view that the court should have considered the appeal on its merits based on what material is available, and to that extent make a decision in relation to the conviction and the sentence. We don't believe that you could simply discharge like that without addressing the conviction and the sentence. We must bear in mind that, yes, the Court of Appeal has authority in relation to appeals before it, but we have a man who is still convicted and is still under his sentence uh, of imprisonment. And to have him walking through without that being addressed, we think, should not be allowed to stand. That was Director of Public Prosecution Christopher Nelson on the recently filed application seeking leave to appeal the Court of Appeals' decision to declare a stay in the Alexander Clark appeal. Clark was released from the Richmond Hill prison last September after serving only eight years for the gruesome death of his wife of four years, Nixie and Downs Clark. The Court of Appeal declared a permanent stay in his appeal last September due to the unavailability of transcripts from the Supreme Court registry. Our view is that there is a serious issue of law involved here. Certainly as the Howard Court of Appeal treats with a convicted murderer against whom there is overwhelming evidence that he committed the offense. And where there is a technical uh, defect in perfecting his appeal against that strong and powerful conviction, uh, we think that's the issue. You can't just simply say, well, you cannot uh, have your appeal heard, so go free without addressing the conviction or the sentence. So we believe that uh, there is merits in our appeal and uh, let's wait and see. The Director of Public Prosecution believes that the Court of Appeal could have taken a different direction on the issue. Even if one was to be charitable and say that this was a case of manslaughter, the penalty for manslaughter is life imprisonment. So either way, there is a substantial sentence still to be served. Clark's attorney, Anslem Clowden, has expressed the view that the Privy Council will not interfere with the Court of Appeal ruling. However, DPP Nelson says that's left to be seen. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.